Hello there, friends, and welcome back to Space Engineers. No, your eyes do not deceive you. That is indeed the moon behind us. Please join me in T-posing on the moon. Yes, yes, 30 seconds of that at least. All right, anyway. I have quite a bit to cover today. Uh, I've got two new mods installed right now, which are just sort of UI buffs. Uh, we've got the colorful icons mod, which you can see there on the bottom left. And uh, I should have a compass mod, which I seem to have somehow turned off. We'll get that working again in a second. But those have both been added to the mod pack, so go ahead and resubscribe to it if that is something you'd like to see. Uh, something else I've gone ahead and gotten, which I've never used before, but people did suggest this to me in quite large numbers. Enough that I was like, okay, cool, we gotta we gotta make this work. And that was the it was at the Donkey Dark Star Dummy Industries. There we go. Build and repair system. So apparently this is like a nanobots thing. This device will go around and repair blocks on your ship as and when they are damaged. It is ludicrously slow and it is also very, very, very power hungry. So I think it's well balanced in that regard. I think I'm gonna stick one right over here. I think that's gonna be the plan. So now it's not doing anything, right? If I go ahead and turn this on, we should see stuff starting to get welded. There we go. So right now, it's trying to fix parts of the ship. I, I love this mod, by the way. For anybody who, uh, the, the people who suggested this, there were quite a few of you. Thank you so much. This is genuinely fantastic. So right now, you can see it's complaining it's missing 80 thruster components. It's trying to fix all the thrusters. It will do stuff in a priority list. It fixes what it considers critical components first. So that's going to be your power production, your thrusters, that sort of stuff. And then I think last but not least is armor. And uh, that line you're seeing is it's sending resources out and bringing them back. So like as it's getting scrap metal back or whatever, it'll feed that back into its inventories. And um, you go to a little internal inventory so that it can accept stuff. That's really handy. And then it'll also send things around. Now you can use multiple of these in conjunction, but they do pull quite a bit of juice, like I said. So I think with three reactors running, we've probably got enough juice. So I'm going to put down three of these total, and that should hopefully get the not fit for purpose sky worthy again. It'll also go around and destroy any grids that aren't owned by me. So we need to make sure that all of the blocks I've got are ownership me. Um, and we can do one other thing, which is to switch them to fly mode. There we go. Which means that when the remora comes in, it'll get repaired. And you can, of course, also set it up. So you can say that, you know, we only want you to weld or grind or grind if the weld gets stuck or whatever. Uh, that's more useful for using it to, like, print smaller ships from blueprints and stuff. Um, I think I will probably still try and use a printer bay for that, but it's good to know that we have this as an option. And there we go. So now I was about to say I'm going to let the I'm going to let the AI do it. Um, it's already welding its friends. There we go. Oh man, this is the future. This is the future. Also, that's facing the wrong way, isn't it? This should also really speed up base production, which I'm very excited about because I was getting a little bit nervous um, about the amount of time it was going to take to build the bunker. Like it might end up snowballing into something that's too big of a project for me to handle short term. Um, and then the series would suffer because, you know, we, we just run out of time to work on stuff. Speaking of running out of time, um, as I mentioned in the previous episode, I am a human rights lawyer, or rather a humanitarian lawyer, more precisely. And uh, a project I'm doing with the United Nations starts tomorrow. Uh, this is going, this is currently Tuesday. I start on Wednesday. I am going to have sporadic work with them until October, in which case it's going to go absolutely crazy. So content might continue coming out at the current pace it's at, which is about two a week, two to three a week, even if I am currently uh, one third as employed as I was previously. You know, we can't have everything, right? Okay, so I think let's go ahead and initiate phase two of the plan. Oh, look at this. All the fires have stopped. Oh, it's gorgeous. Now, I may have spoken too harshly in the previous episode when I said I was going to turn the not fit for purpose into a bunker and then leave it there forever, uh, never again to rise from the ashes. No, this is this was ridiculous. I shouldn't do that. This is this thing is basically the main character of this series at this point. So the not fit for purpose is going nowhere. What the hell was that noise? A reaver impaler has detected a potential target. Well, I didn't like being alive anyway. Fly. Fly, you fools. I don't know why it's targeting me. None of my antennas are on. It's supposed to be a two kilometer range on it, I think. 
Maybe it's going for the assert Skippy? I have a feeling it's not going for the assert Skippy. It's within a kilometer, it's probably going to start shooting at me now. Yep. That might be a bit of a problem. Oh, it's a small ship. Maybe we, maybe there's hope. Listen, I need you all to start shooting. Get the guns involved. Great shots, boys. Great shots. Okay, hold on. We need a we need a build here. Um, you guys know the rules at this point, and so do I. Give me some of this. Put one of those down right there. Give me some of this. You put one of those down right there. Give me like an auto cannon. I know I don't yet make the bullets for this, but let's put a pair of these down, and we'll do the same on this side. There we go. 30 millimeter standard ammo. Hopefully we can make it. There we go. They're getting loaded. Yes. Yes, that's exactly what we needed. Okay, just like a better Gatling gun, basically. Okay, auto cannons. that was definitely the right call. Oh my god. We just won a fight. Oh, not fit for purpose. Oh, no, no, no. I think that that is slander at this point. No, 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 no. It shall not be. Oh, yes, hold on. This is... Everyone? The somewhat fit for purpose flies again. <laughs> All right, take me down to the dab surface. We're going to land on the pole so that there's some ice. That's the dream. Okay, so the plan at the moment, as harebrained as it is, is to strip all of the refining and assembling work off of the not fit for purpose and instead to put that into a base, like a proper stable location that we can return to for repairs and whatnot, but um, that we can we'll build ourselves a little pirate enclave over here because it's very, very heavy. The ship currently weighs, what's that, 1.6 million kilograms. That's a little bit too much. Um, if we can get all of the ore components, assembling all that stuff out of here, get rid of those cargo containers, really slim this ship down into a, like, a streamlined attack frigate, then I think we're going to be really off to something. Well, we're going to be onto something really good, right? So that's the plan, is to basically offload all the bulk at the bottom um, onto the surface, and then we will we will be able to, we're probably going to switch over to hydrogen, or at least add hydrogen redundancies on everything so that we can fly around in atmosphere. And oh, oh hell, that reminds me, um, this ship's going to crash if we try and land it right now. So instead, let me turn off my front thrusters, let me fly over this way, and let me put down some hydrogen thrusters all over, because we are not going to be able to maneuver properly in uh, gravity. The ion thrusters lose a ton of effect. Um, thank you to all the people who pointed that out to me, by the way. It is uh, a bit of a lifesaver. That would have been rough to find out the hard way. Okay, I think four thrusters at the bottom should be sufficient. Um, and then I'm just going to put a couple for now, just a couple on the back here and there, just to kind of give me some maneuverability while we're out and about. Uh, and then what I'll do is I'll do this, and I will do this. And this is just to give us, like, some... You know, small, but some amount of... Uh, of control. All right, let's go ahead and board, and then I think we've, we're, we're over the moon enough that we can land. And uh, land me inside one of these craters. I'm liking the look of, uh, of that one right over there. All right, if we have a look in the bottom right of the screen, you will now see that we have some P gravity as opposed to A gravity, artificial gravity. We've got planetary gravity that we need to contend with. Um, that is something to be very conscious of. Once we're in the P gravity range, uh, we start being in a little bit of trouble. That's a bit concerning. Those thrusters aren't turning on. Off on? Yeah, look at that. These ones aren't triggering. You're odd. Why aren't you working? Turn you off, turn you on. Oh, there we go. Oh, maybe it is working and it just, it just isn't playing the effect. Okay, because that side's, that side's got them burning now. And that side's got them burning now. Okay, it just, it just wasn't playing the graphic. Uh, we should also probably put some landing gear on this thing, huh? Yeah. Ah, nah, ah, yeah, 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 we should. We should, but let's get, let's get a little bit closer to the surface first. Um, so that if I do run out of hydrogen, I don't drop from orbit. I just drop a little bit. So we've got two options here. We've got this big, um, got this big crater right here, which could be really cool. Because we could build like a dome over it. And then we've got this, these other two over here. Uh, we could do like production in one and then maybe like a hangar in the second. I think I'm going to go for the larger of the two. This one over here is really awesome. I like the shape of it. I like the size of it. That's what she said. That's my joke. Damn it, Dwight. But uh, these two over here, I don't know, something about something about having that extra space. Like we can build flat, you know, and then we'll, we'll dome it over later. Also, magnesium, nickel, silicon and nickel over there. I've changed my mind. I know where I will live now. 
Okay, well, hold on. But we, at the same time, don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. You can just move. You can just get drones to go mining for you. You don't have to build where the resources are. I mean, it's convenient, but it's not necessary. Okay, so instead, take me in. And let's just see well, what we've got around us here. Okay, there's iron ahead. That would probably be a smarter place to set up shop, don't you think? Just build near an iron mine? Yeah. I mean, and then of course, this is all just ice. This blue on the surface. Okay, okay. Now, I've changed my mind. I think this is exactly what we're going to do. Um, I think step one here is to not get attacked by that assert ship. Also, someone did point out that we should change the... Uh, we should change the logo here. And I think that that is far more fitting. And of course, we've also got to have the channel colors, that, that lovely golden hue. It's hideous. I love it. You know what? We'll take that. That's good enough. The bald boy Z. Also, someone said bald boy zeal because of all the energy here. I'll add it. There you go. Doesn't take nothing from us. All right. Anyway, I'm being stupid. Let's have a look here. We've got nickel, iron, cobalt, and ice um, all nearby. I think what we're going to do is we're going to park off just to the side and we'll set up some temporary mines. So where... How do I want to start this? Do we want to like bunker in or just build straight on the surface? <laughs> okay, there's our, there's our, uh, there's our compatriot. You know what? I think uh, this is a good spot for them. We'll just, just push him in there. That's the spectator cap, if you were wondering. There we go. Just shove him into the bathroom where no one has to look at him. Perfect. Um, so we could set up right on top of these deposits, and I think there's definitely some some wisdom to that. Maybe we build into this mountain over here. We're right next to the cobalt. We got some iron. We could build across the way and run it over. But no, I think I think what we'll do, and you can see the slight discoloration here. That's how you tell where the ores are on planets. There's always be like a slight texture change. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to grab the remora. And I'm going to tunnel a couple of, like a, just a little square right over here. A little rectangle. And that's how we're going to get set up to start with. Uh, but you know what? Before we do any of that, I think it'd be a very good idea to land this thing on the planet so that we don't burn all our fuel up. So uh, give me some steel, and I'll just put down some landing gear quickly. Okay, listen, it is doing a little bit of um, an kind of stance, but other than that, the ship will work. All right, so if we just orient like this, and thrust down a little, just come in gently so we don't break it. And we should be able to just gunk, touch down right over there. There we go. And that'll turn off the thrusters. Let's grab the remora. Oh, we need to update our checklist, don't we? Well, we, I, we, I say we survived. We survived an encounter there. Uh, Halo music playing in the background. We still have not found gold, of course. But we do have some other stuff we can add to the list now. So build bunker. That's going to be step one. Um, that's going to involve digging the hole. It's going to involve building out. I think what we're, we're going to want some medical components in there to make a med station. And maybe like a backup copy of Izzy's to run the whole thing but other than that I think we're going to keep it pretty chill and we're going to need to build a refinery and build a factory and we're going to need to build storage okay and that's going to be the goal here so basically just build out a simple basic moon base that we can come back and dock to uh, we can then take all the parts off the remora and put them on the system um, but to get started, I think we're going to need to dig into the mountain a little bit, just so that, you know, the the home, the hub of our civilization is not so exposed all the time. Time lapse unresume or uh, unpause, I guess, is what a normal sane person would say. Turns out these things can actually weld while I go. This is this is the dream. So what we're going to do is release our parking. We're going to thrust up a tiny bit, and then we're going to go park the not fit for purpose. Sorry, sorry, slanderous behavior. The somewhat fit for purpose. It's going to take a minute to get used to this. The SFFP is going to get parked right next to this thing so that it can do some work for us while we uh look at that it's already welding so it could do some work for us while we uh, <laughs> while we build this is gonna speed things up so much oh my god Okay, there's a little bit of activity going on up top. 
but I think for now I'm going to focus on some of the more design elements of this place. So we're going to build a couple of control seats over here. This is going to be uh, what controls our little base. You know, we'll be able to look at it from up here. We'll have some, uh, some windows going forward, connecting up to the top of this thing. I think it's going to look great. I need to set up a taskbar just for that. But I'd say we're doing a pretty good job so far. My only real gripe at the moment is that I don't seem to have a way to uh, bring in resources without making it look like trash, like on, along the floor here. I'm going to have to just draw some lines through the base. Um, I know I'm indicating it's something you can't even see right now, but I promise you it makes sense to my monkey brain. Okay, time to do some design work. What if we had a couple at the front, right? Maybe I want to turn off the... Uh, <laughs> maybe I want to turn off the stuff for this, but whatever. It's fine. Okay, so this is what the inside looks like at the moment. Um, I think it's looking pretty good. Uh, let me get a better angle of the time lapse and then we'll finish off this window. Okay, um, we have pause production on everything. We've managed to finish off the windows over here, which is pretty cool. And we've managed to do a couple of other bits and pieces here and there. But you may have noticed that the grinding, or rather the welding, on this segment has completely stopped. I went to go get some more steel plates, thinking, oh, okay, I guess I'm just out. Uh, no, the ship is out. We have no more iron. So what I'm going to do is, I know I'm going to be building out into this area over here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig down right over here, because I know I'm going to end up putting a cargo container in here anyway. And uh, we'll just get some iron from this. And there we go, we got some. Okay, we could just barely afford to fill up like 30% before we run out of uh, thrust. It's uh, definitely better in space. It's definitely a zero G kind of guy. Oh, 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 yeah, but it doesn't have enough juice to even float on its downward thrusters. So we're gonna have to sort of, I don't know, edge it along like this. Yeah, this is not ideal. Oopsie, ouch. Oh god, and I've, I think I've broken the connector. Um, embarrassingly enough, steel plates. Okay, um, I can steal some from here, and we'll just, it'll put it back once it makes some more. There we go. And latch. Okay, it is a little bit sideways, but you know what? Um, needs must. Whoa, what the hell? What? Is there, did one of those drones come over here? Are the drones blue? What am I missing here? Is that a ghost? What is in this coffee? Okay. Well, the ghost was yeeted into the damn shadow realm. What have you got on you, Mr. Ghost? What is- oh, this must be the planetary spawner mod. I did see someone saying that it makes ghosts. I was- I thought they were hallucinating, to be completely honest with you. I want lots and lots of iron coming through. I think I might just do a little hand dig in here, just to help the process along. Uh, and then I think, you know what would actually make a lot of sense here as well? Is a pit mine. But I don't know if I'm too keen on setting that infrastructure up for right here, because you have to do, dig quite a wide berth um, for them to work properly. Well, I could move those cargo containers. We could... We could do this a little differently. I mean, those were just there, honestly, um, as like a, I guess like a stopgap. I was sort of just trying to plan ahead as to where I would come out. How far along does this iron deposit run? Let's let's trace it forward a little. Because if it goes pretty far to this side, maybe we uh, maybe we do try and mine it all out. And I'm following it, and it's still going. Okay. Well, in that case. Hold on, in that case, I'm, I'm, I'm rethinking how I want to go about this. Let me cut all this off. I know you can designate things for um, grinding using the mod. I just haven't quite worked out how you do it. Let's, let's see if I can figure that out now. This is the build color. Sure. Set grind color. Pick. Set current build color. Pick current build color. Ah, there we go. Okay. Oh, that worked either way. So if I do this... Is that going to grind it apart? Or have I just made it look very stupid? 
Oh, it's welding before grinding, right? So I guess we'll let that finish up, but then we'll, we'll find out. Four to six days later. Okay, cool. So the upper level is now complete. We've got this nice arch over here, which I'm hoping is going to be airtight. Uh, it is definitely not. We're going to have to fill in all of this. Um, but that should do it for the command and control bunker for now. Okay, it's got to get in all these little spots or it'll decompress. I would like to be able to pressurize this area so I can leave my spectator cam living in here. Um, and then hopefully we won't have to deal with their signal sticking up over to, all the time. All the damn time. Okay, cool. So we've got two distinct floors to this thing. Now we need to put in some stairs. Um, and I actually have no idea where I'm going to put those. But let's go ahead and do some searching. Also, I left in these windows here so we can see the iron seam running through the bottom. I think that'll just look really cool. Uh, excuse me? Excuse me? I'm, in I'm afraid? Is it just more ghosts? Or is those Incon hired guns? I think their, their mothership crashed over there and they are uh, circling it defensively. But I guess we'll find out. Okay, how are we going to get up and down through this beast? Um, I think this would be a good opportunity to have multiple staircases, to be completely honest. Man, whoever recommended that build and repair mod is... I, I, I'm actually in love. Um, congratulations, we are now dating. I think we'll have stairs going up here. So let's get some of this. Good old space engineer stairs. Inexplicably requiring interior plates just to make my life more difficult. Love that for you, kid. Do you know what? Let's use something we all haven't used yet, which is the interior block. Um, I can't even remember the last time I used an interior block. Let's put down a couple of these. And then some more stairs. have like armories back there or something right here what are you shooting at oh it's more ghosts do you think that's the ghost of captain constantine the uh the captain we left behind also it, it's amazing how quickly i've just accepted the existence of ghosts um didn't see that one on today's bingo card i'll be completely honest and yet here we are okay very nice this works so we can go ahead and sneak in here i like it Let's put down some more uh, walls. I want this to be like a little spot you can like go into, you know, like a little little place just for us. And we'll put some we'll put some ferns up top. Is there like a shower? It's just straight up a toilet. Yeah, put that over there. So this is the full bathroom and the other side's just a toilet. We'll call this let's say this the guest toilet. Okay, very nice. I like that we've got these two little rooms. I don't have to do anything per se, you know. Um, okay, next up, what do I want? I definitely want downstairs. Downstairs can probably be storage access and stuff. And then up here is going to be the med bay. Definitely want a med station. Get a medical room. And we're going to want to put this right over there. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, well then just remember, we're going to have to cut out this block right here. And that's going to have to become a cargo conveyor. Uh, and then we're going to want to bring down the cargo chutes. And we'll use the reinforced ones just to hide them a little bit, I think. Oh, and you know what this would be a good opportunity for? This would be a great place to put a vent. Pretty solid place for one of these. Because right underneath it, we can stick another conveyor. Okay, cool. There we go. Sorry, that took a second. Uh, we now have conveyor tubes running all the way along and connecting up to these cargo containers, which I'm still probably going to get welded away because I want to build a circular pit mine right over here. And I guess we could mirror it on the other side, although I don't think that's strictly necessary. I think I think the space is going to be slightly asymmetrical um, in a moment anyway. We'll see what we do with all that. Okay, so uh, I am out of energy. I think the next step here is going to be get some power production onto this base. We'll just give it a small reactor and some batteries for now. You know, just basic stuff to keep it going. Uh, and then we're going to want to get that med station functional so that we have a new place to respawn. Okay, the med station is functional. Hell yeah. That was unexpected, but is very welcome. Um, then, do you know what I actually want to fit in? How much space do you take up? You take up too tall. I'm trying to think. I'd like to put like an oxygen tank um, somewhere visible. So that I can see what I've got on hand. And this would work really well for it. Because this is just uh, two straight tubes, right? Yeah. 
That'll work perfectly. Hey, very nice. Okay, cool. So that's going to be our oxygen tank, and that'll just help me keep an eye on it nice and easy. Um, we're going to want to build, I think, a reactor right over here. Okay, reactor goes in right over here. And this is going to be very, very handy, I think. Okay, put reactor in right over there. And then, do you know what can go above the reactor? Is an O2H2 generator. I think this is a pretty good spot for it right over here. Uh, and that'll sort that out. And then, of course, we can bring it further up as well if we want to do a connection like we did over there. Then, I'm going to want you to become a battery, I think. There we go, like that. And then I'll put a programmable block on top of it. And that'll handle Izzy's. And we'll probably have a solar farm up here. People have been begging me to do solar. Oh, my bad. This actually needs to rotate slightly. Um, and then we put the O2 generator here. Yes, yes, I know you're dying. Just breathe. You'll be fine, probably. You'll be fine. Okay, and I think we need some... This is going to be a battery wall. Yeah, right over here. Okay, cool. It's building stuff. Right? Yeah, there we go. Oh. It is a little annoying that this is wasting so much of my ammunition. Damn hordes of zombies. Look at this. This is ridiculous. What have you got for me? Make it give me some treats. No treats there? How about you? You got any treats? Look at they're just wandering the surface of the moon. Wow. Oh, that's a lot of HP. Oh, and I've been poisoned. Oh no. By my constituents. Can I offer you a nice egg in this trying time? Yeah, he's got an egg! And then I'm thinking we cut this one out right over here. And this becomes cargo container. Alright, don't delete any of this. I've changed my mind. Um, for the mining segment here, we'll work something out. We'll work something out. Don't you worry. Okay, but that's a pretty stable base. Um, quite literally, I suppose, in that it doesn't move. But it is not well defended. I don't think I want to put any guns on this just yet. I think we'll put guns on something else. Uh, what we need now are lights and cameras and some action. And maybe a little bit of decoration up top here. It's pretty sparse. Let's uh, let's see what our decorative blocks have to offer. Put down some lab equipment. Maybe a uh, a medical dispenser. Put this over here. Oh, oh, like this. Yeah, there we go. And then you put it together. Conveyor air vent, a transporter pad, and a transporter pad. You say, I can teleport. <laughs> Oh my god, we could just teleport back home? That would be insane if we can get that to work. This this feels like this should go somewhere safe, right? Like, we, can't get it, we can't have this being blown up. Uh, move over toilet. Transporter pad is my new best friend. Okay, regrettably are still shy on the superconductor, but that's okay. Oh, maybe it found some. It appears to have found some. It is functional. It is functional. Oh, I can teleport. I can go to the moon. I can go to the earth like I can go to strong unknown signal too. I can go to strange olive. I can go to me. Oh, baby. Okay, so if we build a transporter on the remora, we could teleport there. Yeah, okay, just sort of filling out the space now with like random bits and pieces. You know, we're going to have a little bit of, uh, you know, kitchen here and there, some lockers, that sort of stuff. We'll have to clean up the UI later. Uh, but I think that's okay. It'll look a little bit nicer. Oh, I think that looks pretty sick. And then you know what would really wrap this up so nicely? Would be just a big old window. Right in there. Just two big old windows. So we can still see the rock. There's one other piece I'd like to put down. Which is the console block. This thing over here. Uh, it's really interesting to me. Because you can put like a little blueprint of something on it. So we could put like the... The not fit for purpose on here. Hold on, let me let me orient it so that the control modules are facing that way. And I think that's going to look really cool if we can get it to work. All right, well, I think we've managed to design a nice little base here. Now, of course, it's just up to the lights, and then we're off to the damn races. Oh, yeah, now we are cooking. Look at that. Oh, I love that. I love the raw wall background with the glass. I, oh, man, there's some ice over here, too. You know what? Let's just... I'm just going to steal a tiny piece of that. I'm just going to steal just the tiniest little little morsel of it for us to use. 
Hold on. Was that getting picked up by the building? It does get picked up? Hold the front door. We need to put down some of those building um, things. What are they called? This one here? The building repair system? I need some of this. Stat. Alright, so I need to put you into fly mode, right? Yes, there we go. Fly mode. And that means you should pick up stuff as it comes past you. Okay, so we, let's cut this out. And I think I'm instead going to put a hydrogen tank in here. Yeah, put, give me a hydrogen tank, and I want to see the I want to see the level from the bottom. So did that oxygen tank? Did it? It did fill a little bit. It did. So is my vent venting? My vent is not venting. Could you tell me why? It's not pressurized. Yeah, there's probably going to be some like microscopic gaps here and there that are going to stop this thing from ever properly pressurizing. We'll have to seal it in somehow, I guess. Now, there used to be a thing where you could trace the leak. I'm not seeing it here. If anyone could tell me how I see where my base is leaking, there used to be a button here you could press that would like, it would draw a line to wherever the gas was venting. I can't seem to find that button anymore. So if anyone knows how I bring that button back, please let me know because I would very much like to uh, make this place airtight. But there we go. I'd say that's a successful bunker build. L, yeah. Okay, so bunker is complete, at least for now, right? Like it's functional. It's doing the things. I think I'm happy with where it is right now. It does look a little bit just like, uh, you know, a slab of metal sticking out of a mountain. But I mean, that is what it is. And it's important to be true to yourself. There we go. I found some more iron uh, in the floor and I gave it to the ship. Also, yes, it doesn't it does indeed seem like this works the way I hoped it would. Where now I can just go hand mine in this little iron pit, right? And I just leave it on the floor. And then the build and repair mod will just go get it. Look at this. Look at this. It's all chilling over there, right? You see it slowly disappearing. That's not it being deleted. That's it being picked up. Uh, if you if you quick up, oh, oh, there it goes. All right, and if I go look over here, you can hear that. We'll now see a bunch of iron in the system. There we go. It's all in the refineries. So that is honestly pretty ideal. Damn, uh, we need to rename this base at some point. So I'd love to take your suggestion. Some people did say, you know, uh, name it the not fit for purpose. But that was when I was planning on uh, stripping this out to make the base. But that doesn't really work anymore. So I'd love to know what you want to name our crater base. Um, crater base is honestly a pretty solid suggestion in its own right. Okay, the first thing I'm going to want to do here, I reckon, is to put together this mine so that this thing can start producing its own resources. Uh, we saw that the iron went quite far out, all the way out to about over there, in fact, which is really nice. Um, but honestly, just mining up some stone and stuff wouldn't be the worst thing in the world either. So how do we set up this mine? Well, it is pretty straightforward. Check this out. So we're going to get some reinforced conveyor tubes just because uh, I like the way they look these days. And I think we'll do it just like this. I need to come over just a little bit. I think that's enough. Then we will hit a quick turn. Hit a handbrake left. All right, nice. And then we continue going this way. Uh, and then I need to go up. Okay, and we need to go up so that we can put down two critical pieces of, of infrastructure. The first being a piston, oh sorry, a rotor, then a piston. And the way I normally do it is like this. Yeah, that should work. We've got to be able to get a rotor, a turn, and then a couple pistons so those things can turn around in circles. All right, let's see if I can remember how to do this first try. Uh, the answer is probably gonna be no. Rotor. Okay, then you hit him with one of these. Cheeky little con curved conveyor tube. Bang. Okay. Then we can't do a piston. Hold on. Yeah, if I want this to go side to side, I, it needs to go further out, tragically enough. So what's that? Eight, nine. Okay, then you turn. Okay, now you advance rotor. Then you turn again. And you go rotor lock on. Then you go to the piston right over here. Bang. Okay, now the piston can push out. So the piston's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lengths, and then down. Okay, cool. So that shouldn't connect. 
two, one down with the piston. Maybe go like that, and then like this. And now the drill should fit, yeah, because they were colliding with the surface. All right, awesome. And then I will just put three drills and we'll let that go. Okay, then this is going to need a, let's put a bit of armor here so I can build a little uh, platform to work off of. Okay, so we're gonna wanna put together a little control station over here. Bang, put that right over there. Okay, then, uh, excuse you, don't let me fall down, please. And let's actually just connect all this up with some blocks. There we go. One with the ship, but part of the ship, part of the crew and all that. How, why did I, huh, it's a bit odd. There we go. I do just kind of want to add just a little bit of armor to the side in case a stray bullet or something clips one of our conveyors. All right, but then we do have to leave space over here as well. That's, uh, that's something very important to be aware of. All right, dope. So that is going. What are you missing? It's going to be construction components. Yes, it is. So ironically enough, we need to do a little bit more mining so that we can start mining. There we go. Sure enough, piece by piece, it's all getting built. And yes, don't worry, this, this corner piece being exposed was intentional. It's so that I can see the connector. Just if that turns yellow, then I know something else here is broken. So I really like this mod. I think it's well balanced. It uses a lot of power. All it does is just save you having to weld stuff, right? You still have to make the components and things. It's not like you're getting anything for free. I think it is an excellent, excellent addition to this playthrough. And I think it's going to become one of my must have mods going forward. Thank you all so much for the suggestion. It was damn genius to be completely honest. All right, then I need another programmable block. You know what? We could just stick it in the damn wall right over there. Perfection, okay. Uh, you are going to be PB for the miner, and we'll put an LCD outside. Uh, now, if I remember correctly, and I almost certainly don't, we need to add several things. I need to go edit. I need to go to browse scripts. We're going to go to mine. Oh, there it is. Automatic mining platform. Copy to editor. Check the code. It compiles. That's how you know it's good. And then I need to put the slash mine 01 tag in the name of everything um, of my advanced rotor, my drills, and my horizontal pistons. And I think I need to add the slash pour or ver tag to it as well. This would be drill one, mine one, drill two, mine one, drill three, mine one. And then those can be shown out of terminal. Probably don't need them in the inventory screen either. Take me to the advanced rotor. It's going to be advanced rotor for mine one and then take it off the terminal. Then I'm missing a piece of the puzzle here. I got the drills. I got the thing. Oh, 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 I know what the problem is. I need a, well, first off, we're going to want an LCD. Put that over there. You are going to be a mine one LCD. Let's see if that does anything. It should show me the status once it's working. But anyway, this is going to be the piston mine one vertical. I think we do it like that. And then you are piston. Brother, this is a, this is not an advanced rotor. This is a, uh, this is a piston. This is a piston. I don't know why it's giving me the advanced rotor, but there we go. Okay, then I need a control station to assign the commands. I think it's like run, apply and set or something. This is in the mod pack, by the way. So if you subscribe to the entire mod pack, you should have access to all of this. Automatic mining platform by Kezel Slabas. Incredible name. I need to run the set argument first. And then second, we'll run it with the start command and the refresh command, I think. So run with start. Remember to capitalize. And I think we'll, that's all we need, actually. Oh my god. I think there's just more zombies. So I have set the miner so we should see yes the screen okay there we go it is set everything's turned on and then oh, you know what i need i need an lcd here so where am i gonna put this can i can i use this thing's screen for this purpose no it didn't i think there is a way to do it though give me a second here i'm gonna look it up i'm being told this is possible i've got to look inside the script itself right now that's not the one we need edit there we go aha okay i have found it we got to write at zero. Hold on, listen, this, there's a lot of steps here. Uh, we got to write to the custom data. We put this in here. 
and then I can run it. Oh, there's also two more commands I want to add. I saw while we were doing this. Uh, one is going to be just pause. You know, that's pretty self-explanatory. And the other one will be refresh. So refresh, hey, there we go. Okay, so let's set it. It's aligning to the starting position. Just let it finish doing that. It says it will take 48 minutes, and that's real-time minutes, to fully mine out the area I've designated. Okay, and start. So we should see... Achoo! We should see sneezing. No, we should see digging occur. And yes, I do believe I perceive digging. I think it's just clearing the um, the debris underneath the drills at the moment. Turn or rotor lock. Now, set. There we go. It was trying to move it, and the rotor lock was left on. That was my bad. Okay, so if you've got the same problem, then that might be what's causing it. The rotor lock was put on so that while it was deconstructed, it didn't just like swing around. It's really annoying. All right, so now I should be able to start. And it is setting moving parts. Step completed. And there we go. Digging in a circle is not a myth. I have seen it. All right, so that's going to produce quite a bit of resources for this little hub over here. But of course, we have no way to process them because, uh, well... Um, Yes, you can see how there's a bit of a distance problem here. So we need to start moving all of this junk onto this thing. And I'm going to start doing that right over now. So we've made some pretty significant progress over here. I mean, like, genuinely, not too bad. We now have four assemblers with full modules built up, one refinery and all the modules for the other three ready to go. I don't think this place has enough power to run any of this, not even close, but what we're really shy on is iron. Uh, and so we need to get this drill functional. However, I did notice that I had made a mistake, and so I need to rebuild it slightly. Um, we've got to change a couple things around, and then... I think it'll work a lot better than it would the other otherwise. So we're just going to have to go back and set it back to the starting position. You just press set to do that. There's no restart button. The set is the restart button. And then we're going to have to rip all of this off. Okay, so what was my mistake? My mistake was that, as you can see, we've got this big central column over here. That is a bit of a problem. The issue is that we need to go back a bit and then around. We need the drills to be directly underneath um, the rotor in order to avoid having that. So in order to do that, we're going to have to go over a bit and then build the piston backwards. We drop down. Okay. And then it's the same thing it was before, which is now it directly faces this little mound rather than just kind of being near it. Okay, put that there. And then... Um, it goes, which way? It goes side to side. So I, I was actually making a mistake by putting them parallel. We need them sort of perpendicular to the direction of motion. Okay, cool. There we go. There's our pistons all set up again. Advanced rotors still cooking just fine. I think, yep, that's still assigned to mine one. Start. Yes, there we go. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. I might have to take that one off. I think that might end up pushing into that side, but uh, we'll see how close it gets in a second. But there you go, it's just going to sort of spin around in a circle at the start, and that'll just mine up that central column, and at least that'll clear that out then. You can just do it with one drill, I just find that three is a little bit faster. Okay, lovely. So this is now all functional, at least nominally. So I can go ahead and bridge some of these gaps. Uh -huh, look at this. There we go. Uh, and then I, th I was thinking actually, you know what would be really nice is to put a window in here, just because I like the way it looks. Hey, and our last big window's in there now too. Hell yeah, awesome. You know, I never thought of myself as a window guy, but this uh, this series has surely awakened something in me because I just love being able to see the natural terrain like through the floor. I think that's just so neat. Ah, it's so cool. Okay, uh, let's just put down a few more sheets here. I was going to try and do the defenses today, but I think that that is a little bit ambitious. Um, my editor needs to sleep, people, so we're going to have to spread the base building out a little bit further than uh, I had initially planned. 
but that's okay. You know, it just gives us more time to think about it. So it also gives you guys time to drop some suggestions. How would you, uh, how would you go about defending the base? Do you think, I mean, obviously this is our production house, you know, this is our factory. Um, the guns, I was thinking of doing guns in turrets, like in towers that um, then are, you know, attached to welders and stuff with some decoys nearby so that they draw fire. Uh, and I think it would be more fun if we were to build some shields on here and then turn on an antenna so that we can draw some enemies in as well. And then, of course, what are your suggestions for how we fortify the not fit for purpose? Oh, sorry, the somewhat fit for purpose. It's going to take me a second to get used to that one. The SSFP. Uh, it is a beautiful ship, but it is in dire need of uh, mechanization, modernization even. So, yeah, what do you think? I think we should also probably have some hydrogen storage tanks here. Um, but there is one last piece of the proverbial puzzle we have to solve today before I wrap up. And that is to put a connector down so that we can transfer all the components and ores and things from this guy into the base. So I think a good spot, this whole thing is pretty much going to get shaved off right at this level. I might keep this refinery in here just so that we can do some in situ work. Um, but I probably will swap it out for a basic one and we'll keep this assembler. Uh, my thinking there is that I want to really drop weight. I really I want to drop these cargo containers in their entirety. And I pr probably want to swap the remora out for something else. Uh, we'll see though. I also really do want to spend some time uh, setting up a mining fleet to like go out and gather resources from nearby spots. Um, and this build and repair nanobot thing is going to make it a hell of a lot easier to do that than it normally would be otherwise. I mean, that's our little factory built and you know, built, done, dusted. It is in, um, yeah, there's, there's still there's still a little bit more work to do on it, but I think it's a really solid foundation for now. Okay, so let's not worry too much about where the connector goes for now. I think let's rather just make it so that there is a connector. Uh, we can just drop all of this stuff down. We don't need these, uh, these plates anymore. That can all get picked up. I think I'll just put the connector right over here and it'll come down and just link up. And this is really just to transfer stuff. It doesn't have to, it's not going to be permanent. We'll build a permanent one in at a later date. I am going to have to put some engines back on though so that we can move. That is, that is not lost on me. Okay, let me do that real quick. Okay, and again, this is, this is completely temporary, so it doesn't have to look good. It just has to work. Um, I think we'll put a connector right over there and... Then I just got to build a little spot on this thing to offload everything. And I think this will work fine for now. So we'll let that start cooking. And then I need to start thrusting. Uh, step one is also going to be to remove this in its entirety. No more izzies. Um, except this part of it. LCD auto crafting. I need to go put an LCD down on the base. And so that it can start auto crafting as well. And I think that these slots here are going to be great for this sort of work. It is our auto crafting LCD and we're just going to straight up just paste the text from the other one and uh, then I can go ahead and clean that up in between episodes. All right, so this thing's going to currently, it's going to mine the air. It will do that until it gets back down because it has to sort of drill that and then it'll start producing resources again. Uh, but regardless, we do have our dock. Um, we can now, the next major step we'll have to do here to just clean Izzy's out of this system is going to be to search for my cargo containers, right? I just need to need it some, some junk so that the other Izzy's doesn't try and put stuff in here. Uh, we're basically just getting rid of the tags. And then we need to find a permanent resting place for the Remora. I might bring it with us. Uh, what do you guys think? Should I bring the Remora with us on our piracy adventures? I think maybe we could we could swap it out, right? You know, because like the Remora can sometimes come with a piracy. Uh, but if we have a mining... maybe Oh, maybe if, we'd like, if we're planning a mining mission, we bring it with. But otherwise, we sort of just let it hang out over here right over there perfect okay that can literally just stay right there okay all of my thrusters are there so let's unlock we're going to hit a quick rotation just want to try and get this to dock without too much hassle come on come on there we go there we go okay and i'm just going to do the p dock all right perfect there we go so now we should see all of this stuff here. Yes. Okay. It's completely full on the other side. It's going to be got a million ice in there. Um, so I need some more cargo containers. Cargo container? No. Cargo road, silly. All right. So he's now finally mining that little bit there. Okay. 
We've got three more cargo containers. Has that at least gotten the worst of it out? Uh, this one is... Yep, that one's pretty full. You love to see it. That one's completely full of... Or is it ingots? It's just the ice, man. We've just got so much ice. Ah. Um, can we maybe... Can we maybe add some... Yeah, I don't think we need tools and bottles over here so much. Uh, I think this being used for ice and ore makes a lot more sense. I mean, we're almost through the, the ice we're going to be mining here. Two million is... That's plenty. That is plenty. All right, but I mean, next time we can we can go ahead and sort of round this off. I think we'll build a... I think I'll build a nuclear reactor plant over here. So where we have maybe three large grid reactors, as well as some more batteries. Um, and then we can start working on the defenses. Oh, yes, the defenses. And then maybe we can eventually turn this pit into like, a, I don't know, like a welding bay. We can extract ships from it. That would be pretty sweet. All right, let's just make sure the NFFP is officially... Uh, well, NFF free of of slander. I'm, every time, it's the SSFP. It's going to take me uh, several years to uh, get past that. Let me tell you right now. Maybe instead of a refinery, I think we will keep a refinery up here. Uh, let's see how much this lad weighs now that we've shaved off all that weight and taken out all that ore and stuff. Uh, I'm hoping we're going to be seeing uh, under a million kgs. Oh yeah, we've shaved off a million kgs. That is kind of insane. All right, let's uh, undock it, move it forward, and uh, dock it again. And I'll be completely honest, I think a lot of this is going to get uh, completely recycled. But we'll be doing that next time. Um, the somewhat fit for purpose is significantly more streamlined and significantly more likely to win in a fight. Um, I think it's going to be much more maneuverable now. We'll go and find some gold. There's got to be some somewhere on this godforsaken planet. Uh, and we will direct mine it into the ship, bring it back, drop it off, and that will be great. Or we'll just build another miner to go and do that specifically. Anyway, guys, that is all I have time for today. My name is Largely Unemployed. Everybody say thank you to Magic for editing this one. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. You made it to the end of the video. Congratulations and thank you. That puts you in the top 3% eh, of viewers. Here's another video that YouTube thinks you're going to like. And here is a list of all the patron and channel member names. If you don't see yours on there, you can find a link down in the description where you can sign up and support this content directly. Uh, if your name is on there, well, you probably already know that, huh? So, um, what are you still doing here?